You became a father of three all during your years here in Oakland, right? That's so correct. You've already said Oakland was a special place because of that, but how did you manage fatherhood mid-career? Like, I, I'm, I just kind of went through that a little bit, too. It's a lot, huh? It is a lot. It's difficult. You have to have a, a very strong wife. And, uh, you know, I could get emotional about that because she carried the family through those years. And you do everything you can to, to physically be there. Um, but at the same point, uh, you know, it, it does, there's a tough balance to, to your professional life and being here and your family here. And, uh, and then going home and really being present as a dad. That changed you, it seems like. Maybe, were you a different person before being a dad? Now you're different, <laughs> maybe? I think there's, there's change that happens. Yeah. I think we mature uh, in our responsibilities, for sure. Um, you know, but, but I don't think it changed uh, in, in terms of my relationship with my wife yeah. or, or how I go about, um, you know, caring and, and being there and trying to be, you know, as we talk about, being, being a role model for, yeah. for them. You're a Warriors fan, huh? I've seen you at games. Uh, I see you wearing the, the undershirt. So how'd that happen? I think I'm, you know, uh, wait, wait. childhood not Laker, a Laker fan. Not a Laker guy Childhood or a Laker guy. fan. Okay, right. Uh, but definitely transitioned to, to a Warrior fan. And, right. and a lot of that has to do with being here in Oakland. Right. Um, you know, I, I love to support uh, the local teams. Um, you know, I, I got a, a, a relationship with, with Steve Kerr. Okay. Um, you know, and spent some time with him. Um, he's one of the best, uh, not not only as, as a, a head basketball coach, yeah. but, but just as a person. Yeah. You know, my next question here was, uh, prove to me that you're a Warriors fan, like, but you just flexed and said, <laughs> hey, I, I hang out with Steve Kerr, so I'm going to cross go. that question off. Like, but seriously, you guys are doing the same thing, different sport, but leading a team. What do you guys talk about? Can you learn something from him? Can you learn something from you? Is it, you guys talk business or do you keep it casual? Yeah, no, I reached out to him and wanted to, uh, to have an opportunity to spend a day with him uh, in his environment. Uh, which we made happen, uh, fortunately, during the, the lockout. Yeah. Um, <laughs> had nothing you know, else going on. <laughs> we came up here, my son and I, we, we attended a Warriors game together. Okay. Uh, and it just so happened to be the game, one of the games where they were leading by six or eight. I was going to get escorted down into the press conference uh, post-game. There was still about two minutes left. My son Trey says, hey, Dad, let's just hang on here. I think they were playing um, Denver. Yeah. And sure enough, buzzer beater, they lose. And I'm sitting in Steve's press conference with my son just shaking my hand. He walks in, and we both kind of make eye contact, right? It's like, oh, man. So, but. Um, You've both been there before, at least. Yeah, you well, I had never been in a press conference as the as I see. manager. I see what you're you know, saying. But, but you know, you, I, but as, a player, as a player, you've, you've, you've done, done that before. Yeah. I totally yeah. get it. So. Hey, you're on. You're on Twitter, right? I have, you have a an Twitter account. account. Okay. Yes. You have an Instagram account too. I have that as well. So and that's my question. You're on there, but right. you're not really active on there. So what are you doing on there? Well, a lot of it is information nowadays. Okay. You know that so Twitter. You're, you're perusing. Uh, you, you peruse okay. a little bit. Right. You look, you know, especially during the off season, a lot of the baseball information gets you know, tweeted out in advance. And so yeah. just to try to stay connected. Yeah. Uh, my family, from the Instagram standpoint, uh, they utilize it, it. Uh, yep. to share some things. Um, and yes, I'm public and verified, <laughs> but what does that mean? And I, if I knew how to use it maybe a little better, Brody, like if I could maybe create some, some type of, uh, I don't know, uh, curiosity to it, but I, I have no idea. When I say I could help you, I, no, I don't, yeah, no, I could show you, but yeah. I don't know that would be helping you. <laughs> Isn't that crazy? I might though? have to go to Dallas for that, right? DB knows what he's doing <laughs> on there. He's a little more edgy on there. He is. Um, isn't it crazy though that like some of your players could find out that like they got traded via Twitter or their career status? You know, they find out their own news sometimes, and I know teams really try not to make it happen yeah. that way. Yeah. But it is it is that speed. That's pretty crazy. It is that speed. It's uh, the, the world we live in right now. Um, we do our best to to get ahead of it, to not let a player find out. Uh, any type of information that, that we can't relay to him first. Hey, Pache is really good on Twitter, by the way. Oh, Dios mío, cuánto peluche! ¡Cuánto peluche! ¡Vamos esto, Michael Bond, el saco ese!
tráelo, tráelo, tráelo. Yeah, I've seen that. No, well, I definitely have seen that. There's yeah. been some stories yeah. about it. Uh, he's connected to the fans. He's bridging which, the gap. Which is great. It's so it's so healthy to see that, uh, to see a player, you know, want to connect. Um, obviously, there's the other side of, of the social media, though, that we pray and hope that doesn't take place, and that's the, the nastiness of yep. it. And, and uh, you know, use it for, we try to use it for the positives, right? Can I hit you with a quick lightning round here? Oh, boy. I'm ordering drinks. What can I get you? Uh, old fashioned. Really? Yeah. I'm a beer guy. You like beer? I like beer. I like wine too. You like wine? I like wine. Right. But an old fashioned. Right? Yeah. Uh, best off season place to recharge? Probably my house. <laughs> All right. All right. But, uh, you know. So not Maui. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Um, you didn't get drafted in Major League Baseball. What's your current job? Oh, I work for the U.S. Marshals. Really? Hands down. Really? I was set. Uh, oh. Up until my sophomore season, I literally didn't think I'd play in, in, uh, at the major league level, and I was committed to, to going into uh, a local PD and, really? and aspiring to be in either the Marshals or, okay. or even the FBI. Favorite car you ever had or, or have right now? Well, I, my favorite, I have a F-250 trimmer, which okay. uh, I love. I love my truck. Uh, my very first purchase uh, upon completion of three years in the major leagues was a Mercedes that was uh, a CLK 430. It had the old London kind of fog <laughs> round headlights, so that car still stands out in my memory. You treated yourself to that one, I right? did, yeah. for sure. You gotta you got have something like that. It was a toy. Uh, you a texter? A little bit. Favorite emoji that you use? Um, probably the cry, the smile with the cry. <laughs> I, that one seems to hit, I hit that one quite a bit. Song or band? or genre of music that gets you going? Ooh. Um, I, I do listen to country. Okay. It's kind of uh, my go-to, probably. Uh, but I also like a certain kind of uh, Euro, uh, just not not uh, dance, but, but you You're know. You're an EDM guy? I like EDM, <gasps> yeah. Oh, man, we could do a whole separate show on this. <laughs> yeah, it's... That's kind of my thing. I'm, yeah. I got to say it here now, but yeah. Oh, wow, since you went there, awesome. Uh, we'll share a playlist later. All right. Uh, last thing here, I have a beard because I'm lazy and I hate shaving. Why yeah. do you have a beard? Because my wife really likes it. <laughs> okay. And even though it's Mine gray doesn't. and white, it's, it's a little really scratchy sometimes. Yeah. My son you says you got to grow scratchy. it out a little bit longer. Softer. Yeah, it's yeah. softer. The yeah, longer and you're right. The gray is one of the first I'm noticing along here. Yeah, yeah. Like, yeah you're getting older. <laughs> you're, you're getting older.